morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. See, that almost fell coming in. <laughs> Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, this is our 604th video, baby. Yeah, 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 604. Traders, we are just going to keep giving you these videos and giving you this analysis until one of us can't stand any longer. And I have a feeling it's going to be you because I'm not going anywhere. Traders, this video is being filmed on Thursday Night Trading Friday, July 16, 2010. And I'll tell you right now, we are at a do or die area in the S&P, in the indices as a whole. We are at a spot where if we cannot penetrate big time on the upside, well, downside's going to come our way. I have some charts that I will show you in a couple of moments that will illustrate that. But before we go any further, traders, remember, futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. If you do not have risk capital, you should not be playing this game. But for the traders that do have risk capital, you cowboys out there, do or die area presents a lot of opportunity. Traders, this could very well be a turnaround day in the indices because we've been at the do or die area for a couple of days now and can't penetrate above. I'll have some charts to show you about that. The leaders being the tranny, the Russell, the FTSE, the DAX, the NASDAQ, they are beginning to falter when you look at their technical analysis. And in the last video I presented to you just two nights ago, I mentioned that bonds were at a spot where they look like they may find support. And if they find support and rally, well, the ES and the bonds usually go opposite one another. If ES is going down, bonds are going up and vice versa. So we have a situation where bonds Unless they turn around on Friday and crack again, bonds have already giving, given us the clue that the ES is going to fail at the do or die area. So let's go take a look at some charts, traders. We don't know that it's going to fail here. And I'll tell you what, I'd love to see it penetrate and take off. But the analysis is starting to point towards it's been hanging around this do or die area a little bit too long and likely the downside will come our way. Again, I hope not. I hope the bonds crack and the S&P rallies, but I trade what I see on the analysis and not what I hope for. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the first chart you are looking at is basically the same thing I showed you in the last video. Before we entered into the chart segment, I showed you first a few indicators of the Dow Jones Transportation Average deemed the leader of U.S. indices. I'm showing you those indicators again because in the last video two days ago, the indicators were pointing up. But in this case, as you can see, clearly they're starting to falter. If you see closely here, see that little hook? that started to show you it's getting tired up here. In the last picture I showed you, you had green going up and red going down, which would have been bullish, but now you have green going down, red going up, which turns out to be bearish. So bearish indicator up here, bearish indicator here, you had the CCI looking bearish, here you have the DMI looking bearish, and here we have RSI in there, once again, you see that little hook? Well, that's an indication that it is running out of steam up here. Interesting that the indicators are running out of steam because you'll see that the charts are in a spot where they very well may be running out of steam as well. Let's go look at a few charts here, traders. Okay, traders, those indicators that I just showed you are the indicators of the Dow Jones Transportation Average, and that is what this chart is before your eyes. It is the daily bar chart. And why I say we are starting to run into trouble we did so far spend two days above the 200 ball moving average. And you know what, traders, that is a very strong positive. Go, go, go. But the problem is we have not penetrated this area and we don't usually penetrate it when we get to it. As you can see with all those circles, you basically stay locked inside of this. Now we rallied all the way to here and it turned around and put in a pretty decent down day on Friday only to rally at the close. However, most of the day, excuse me, on Thursday, not Friday, this video is for Friday, that is Thursday's movement. Most of Thursday went down and then towards the end of the day it rallied, but most of the day was spent on the defensive. So indicators are beginning to turn. You seem to have trouble up here at the resistance. 
It very well could be a turnaround day here, traders. Let's see what we're going to get. A few more charts to look at. Okay, traders, here's how the picture begins to develop. Another one of our leaders is the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 has a flat top right here, three bars with almost the same highs, stopped cold at the 50 bar moving average, has not been able to get above this resistance, and after being up here on Thursday, is here on Thursday evening heading into Friday. This is where we are right now as I speak. Be below the average, cannot get above the flat top. As we know, flat tops produce market drops. You do have a flat top in the Russell. You have a lot of resistance. You failed at the 50 bar average. You dropped below the 200. That does not bode well for the upside, as well as the indicators I just showed you on the leader. They are starting to falter. So some of the leaders here are starting to run out of steam. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, the FTSE, another one of the industry leaders, and it's a big leader of the industry. Right here, you have two things going on. This can easily be construed as a double top. You are now below the 200. It rallied up above it for one day, settled below it the next day, and then on Thursday, broke down and settled here. Here's what happened on Thursday. Here is your 200 average. We failed, we failed, and now we're starting to break. The indicators are also looking tired. Another leader telling us that we are running out of steam on the top end in our indices. Let's look at another chart. Okay, traders, once again, very same chart in the video from two nights ago. I showed you a shoulder, a head and a shoulder. By the way, this is the DAX September daily bar chart. And it is, believe it or not, considered one of the leaders out of Europe. The DAX. Shoulder, head, shoulder, and I wrote head test and showed you that if we rally up for the next two days, you can hit the head test area, and if you hit it and fail, it's an indication of downside to come. Well, what happened? We went up on Wednesday. We went up on Thursday all the way to this spot, and you know what happened? It dropped all the way to here and settled right there. Got into the head test area and turned around. That is what we were worried about. We were worried that the indices would not get above where they are now because they're at a do or die area. And then you have the DAX running into a head test. And so far as of Thursday evening, it is failing at the head. Another indication that our U.S. indices could very well be at a turnaround point and getting ready to head back down. Let's look at another chart here, traders. Okay, this brings us to the big kahuna, the E-mini S&P, the one that we all love to trade. What has happened here? Traders, you never got above the 200 bar. In fact, you have almost a flat top just under the 200 bar, no penetration, and is having great difficulty getting above this major resistance line. In fact, we are trading right down here right now. So far, failing at the resistance line, failing at the 200 bar, staying within this bearish parallel channel, that is starting to show signs of falter. Now, the opposite side of these indices, the same chart that I showed you in the video two days ago, coming up next, is the bond chart. If the indices were going to continue to move higher, the bonds were going to have to continue to drop lower as indices and bonds work opposite one another at this juncture in the marketplace. Well, let's go look at the bond chart and see what we got. Okay, traders, here is where we're getting our technical clue that the indices may very well not be able to maintain this recent rally. Bonds, simply two days ago, I showed you this chart and I said, look, major, major, major support. And there is a bull flag. And if we can hold this major support area, we will likely rally. You know what's happened since then? You had Wednesday, Thursday, all the way up to here. Blew out of the bull flag, held the support, and started to take off with bullish indicators. Traders, you cannot have bonds going up like this if you expect the S&P to be going up in the same manner. So the S&P is starting to run into trouble technically just as the bonds ran into support and started to move higher. So there is a technical picture here telling us that there is a high possibility that the indices run out of steam on Friday and begin to crack. 
Do your own charts, do your own homework, pull the bonds, pull the world indices, pull the US indices, look at your indicators, do your homework, try to see what you come up with and we'll meet at the site. So, traders, you see those charts? There is my technical argument for the Omni telling us that we could very well be at a turnaround point. Now, are we at one? Traders, I'll say this in every video. I always hope the market goes higher. I am a fan of the United States and the world's economy, and I want them to go higher, and I want us all to do great. But I can't control the charts, and the charts tell me, Oscar, we are at a really tricky spot here, and you can't just go in and buy this thing. In fact... You may want to actually short this. Traders, at our site, and I say this all the time, don't trade alone, traders. We can do so much good together, huddling together in our chat rooms, working as analysts, working together as a team. There is strength in unity. If you are sitting home by yourselves trying to figure out all the news coming in, disseminate the information, try to get your trades done and figure out what's going on, well, don't do that by yourselves. Come on down to a community where we can really help one another. And that community is www.livewithoscar.com. It is the Omni Trading Academy. Make sure you come on down. I'll try to hold the class on Friday and illustrate what's going on behind the turnaround day. So make sure you come on down. Traders, for those of you who do not know, you can open up a brokerage account directly with me. I am a broker. I, don't, I almost never mention it in my videos, but I am a broker and I can be your personal broker, which I would love to do. If you open a trading account with me, you are privileged to everything that takes place at the site and you have a direct line of communication with me. So come on down, open up an account. You can fill out the forms electronically. All right. Traders, this is going to be an interesting day. Friday it will prove to be interesting. Options are expiring. We're at a do or die area. The FTSE already started to turn. We're starting to crack around the 200. There's a lot of reasons to go nuts. And I think that's what's going to happen on Friday. It's too bad there's no full moon to cap this whole thing off. But you better get ready. You better never trade without a stop because we know that a stop is your best friend and make sure you have your stops in, traders, because if we do end up selling this S&P on Friday and it takes off on the upside, a stop is about the only thing that's going to knock you out of a bad trade and allow you to come back and fight another day. Put your stops in. Put them in first. Do your homework. Make sure it agrees with a direction and then trade the plan that you've come up with. What we like to say is plan a trade and then trade that plan because if you think you're going to win with seat of the pants decisions, what am I going to do each day? Well, when the market opens, I'll figure it out. When the five minute chart does this in the end and, and you see the average is doing that, I'm going to. That's not the way professionals trade. Professionals come up with a trading plan on Thursday night and on Friday, they act the plan out. They do not make decisions while the market is whipping around while they have positions on. That's not the time to make decisions. The time for you to make your decisions is the night before you make your plan and you follow the plan, execute it flawlessly. And I assure you that if you approach these markets every day with a trading plan, you will start to become much better at being a trader. Whether you win or not, it depends upon whether or not you follow your plan and if you've learned how to plan a trade properly. If you'd like help with that, again, you come on down to my site. It's www.livewithoscar.com, and I'd be more than happy to show you how I create my trading plan and how we follow it together as OmniX every day. Create a plan, trade the plan, put your stops in, let the rest happen. All right, traders, so Thursday night for Friday, it's going to be exciting. As I said, the expiration and the do or die area has got my goat. I can't wait to get involved. I'll see you all at the site. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that, of course, is to have your stops in. And the second thing is to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop in Emotions are out. Always remember, futures trading is risky and can absolutely result in substantial financial loss. Traders, trading futures is not for everybody. It's not suitable for every trading account. And as always, 
Past performance is not indicative of future results.